Hey everybody, coming to you from the Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation's Steam Shop, which is also housing uh, Next Generation Rail Solutions, doing a multitude of things, including rehabbing the boiler for the uh, LNN 152 owned by the Kentucky Railway Museum. So, this boiler, along with the rest of the locomotive, was built in 1905. And, well, it had to get unloaded outside of the shop. You see those nifty stands that uh, I designed and built and our engineering department signed off on. Um, well, there's no wheels, right? So how are they getting things moving? Or how do they allow things to move? If you'll come down here with me, look, under there, right there, that's about a quarter of an inch that you can see of a three quarter inch strip piece of ultra high molecular weight plastic, UHMW. The stuff's been around in this form since uh, the late 1970s, used initially primarily in aerospace things, but nowadays you can find it in all sorts of things like uh, uh, the arms of telescoping um, booms on cranes and all-terrain forklifts and things like that, um, also known as Skytrex. So anyway, the, uh, the two stands are tied together with load rate of chain and uh, we... Uh, well, we're going to pull it into the shop. So here you have a 40 year old, roughly, um, technology helping a 118 year old steam locomotive boiler move into a, uh, well, rail car facility built in the 90s. There's a lot of years. I like numbers. It's just, it's, it's spanning, spanning eras, right? And uh, it, it's a creative solution. Uh, to not having to have some sort of cart with wheels. Those cost a lot of money to build. They work, but they're unnecessary. We're sliding this thing in with a backhoe. It doesn't take a lot of oomph. So um, we're gonna we're gonna show you what it looks like on the move. Hey Evan, uh, release three step and tug back slowly. Like Santa's sleigh in the snow. Hope everyone's having a great day.